Hi, I'm Alex Newcole from ESP Company. I'm here with Nathan today. Uh, we've got an application today where we have a pressure switch that's gone bad, and we're going to show you how to replace it with a ESP NS2 universal air pressure switch. All right, so when you order this NS2 pressure switch, uh, the kit's gonna come with a few things. It comes with a switch. Uh, you've got common, normally open, normally closed terminals on that switch. Comes with a bag of springs. There are five springs that cover the range from one tenth of an inch to 10 inches of water column. You have another bag, which you may or may not use. Uh, this is a bag of orifices, and that's for applications that require a time delay to switch after meeting a set point. And then you've got an Allen wrench uh, to help you set that spring properly. So again, we've said it covers uh, anywhere from a tenth of an inch to 10 inches of water column, and that's for positive, negative, or differential applications. So if we have a positive application, we're going to connect our air sample connection to P1 or the black connection. If we have a negative application, we're going to connect our air sample to the negative P2 or gray air sample connection. And then if we've got a differential application, we'll connect to both the positive and the negative. So next we'll go over how to set these uh, using some common tools in the field. All right, so I'm here with Nathan and we're gonna go over the process for setting a universal pressure switch to a specific set point. So Nathan, go ahead, connect these to common and normally open. We're gonna zero out our tool here. We're gonna press test on here. And this is acting as a manometer um, draft inducer. So this is going to simulate a, um, in this case, we'll set it for two tenths of an inch. So go ahead, connect that to the gray port on here, which is the negative side of the universal pressure switch. Um, and we can set it for uh, whatever we like, um, anywhere from a tenth of an inch to three tenths of an inch. Um, we're going to set it to what we need, to need it to be for the application. So this is zeroed in. We've got it at two tenths of an inch about. And what we're going to look for is this light to turn red. When that light turns red, that means that switch has closed those contacts because that spring has that diaphragm uh, pushing the right amount. So we'll just wait for that visual cue. As we get a little bit closer, slow down and we see that we've got it. If we take it out just a hair, we'll lose it. And that's how we know we're right there when that light is turning on and off. So right about there. And you kind of hear that snap switch. Not sure you can hear it on the video, but we can hear it here. Right there, I would say we've got it set about perfectly. So that's how you set a universal pressure switch. Uh, any questions, feel free to call ESP Company. Yeah.